first thing I've got to do is get our bacon cooked up. I've got a big bake sheet here lined with parchment. I'm going to put all this on there, put it in the oven on 350. This will bake probably about 45 minutes because this is thick sliced bacon. But once I get this laid out, I'm also going to cover it with another piece of parchment. Keeps your grease from going everywhere. Keeps your grease in the pan, more importantly, so you can pour it up, you know, to use as gold and other things. So, let's get our bacon going. And here we go. Got all of our bacon laid out. Put another piece of parchment on top and make sure you press it down. This, to me, is so much easier to make bacon. You don't have to worry about grease popping all over your stove. The grease stays in the pan. Just make sure you've got at least a half inch lip, if not an inch. I wouldn't put it on a flat pan because you will have grease go everywhere. Uh, you don't have to flip this bacon over. The only thing I do is about 25 minutes in, I turn the pan all the way around one time. And that's it. It all cooks evenly and perfectly. I like very crunchy bacon. Um, any of these pieces that are still a little, I don't know, rubbery, I will use those pieces in my greens or baked beans. See that one out there is perfect. I have to tear one in half to get it to fit on here, so. Now, in my little makeshift bed I made for them. I'm gonna cover it up with the rest. If y'all don't have a jar, please get you one. I'd recommend you get one with, with a handle. This is really old. I don't know where it came from. It's a Tupperware. Just stick it in your jar. So let me see if I can do this without making a mess. We already know that's not going to happen, but we'll try. Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay. This. So I'll spill it all over them. Here we go. Oh, yes. Okay. This is full, so I can't put any more. Liquid gold, y'all. Liquid gold. Now I'll clean up my mess. Now then, let's make us a Subway. If you've never had these subs, Arnold brand, uh, these are the best subs that I have found in the store. Y'all might know some better ones. Or, or well, in, in my grocery store, these are the best ones. They are so, so soft. So soft. Uh, and they're good. Hoagies, subs, whatever you want to call them. This brand is delicious. Super, super soft. Okay. Um, and by the way, I don't know if y'all drink these. Uh, I'm, this is not a sponsorship. I just want to tell you if, you, if you're like me and... I drink coffee every morning, but I don't like the taste of coffee, and by the time I finish adding sugar to it, uh, it's definitely not good for me, but these right here, these Alani's, they're fantastic. Uh, this is Cherry Twist. I, I tried to get uh, some more of the Hawaiian Shaved Ice, I believe it was called. Those so far are my favorite ones. Uh, this Cosmic Stardust is good. And this kiwi guava is also really good. 
most importantly, four grams of carbs. These work, y'all, and you don't get that. Uh, the reason I don't like a lot of these are these, uh, you know, those boost, whatever they're called, um, energy drinks. I don't like most of them because you get that, you know, it, it'll wake you up for several hours and then you get that crash from all the sugar. These don't have all that sugar. They're really good. Highly recommend. There we go. Okay. Mayo. Not bad. All right. I like some mustard on mine. Not a lot, just a little bit. Oven roasted turkey breast. American cheese. Y'all probably gonna laugh at me because of all the things to forget, I forgot lettuce. Yeah, no. You need the lettuce. All right. Onion. Let's see. I'm just going to cut a chunk this way because I don't need a lot of it. Okay, that's plenty. For a sandwich anyway, that's plenty. You can make these any way you want, but these are delicious. I think that's enough. We'll put another little piece right there. Alright. Onion, let me wash my hands. Okay. Thinly sliced tomato. Now, some of our bacon we just cooked up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I like a lot of bacon on my sandwich. Mm. Mm. That's good. Okay. Whoops. Alright, y'all. Forgive this. I'm going to put some salt right there. I meant to put it on the tomato and forgot. Pepper. Turkey breast. Okay. 
sandwich may not look like it's too big, but for me, it's huge. Okay, let me wash my hands again. Okay. That's a heck of a sub, y'all. Like I said, may not look like it to you, but for me, that's very large. All right. Okay. Now then, nothing beats claws and pickles. That's full. Mm. That's delicious too. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And then to go with our sub, have some Doritos. And yeah, these are left over from Super Bowl dip. And that dip, oh wow, I ate all of it, y'all. I love it. Okay. Let's see if I can get this in my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, that's delicious. Mm. Pickles are very, very juicy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Make your homemade sub, y'all. I mean, you can always open this up, put your meat and cheese on it, and then put it on like under the broiler for a minute. If you prefer, you know, warm, like Subway does theirs. You can also add sliced pickles on here, like they do. But I love it just like this. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Oh, I just got a bite of that bacon, too. Mm. Look, I, if it was up to me, I'd just put tomato and bacon on this and probably nothing else. I mean, I could just eat a bacon sandwich. I'm good with that, too. Bacon needs nothing to go with it, but I figured y'all might want something other than just bacon. Make your homemade sub, and again, y'all see? Can you... See how soft these buns are? Oh, they're so good. But if, if you like yours heated or if you like it kind of hard, you know, just stick it in your broiler for a minute. Now I'm going to go stuff my face. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.